Alabama home holds the key to a Civil War mystery. We realized there's some really neat stuff in here. But did it also come with treasure? You have three magnificent stained glass windows. Our expert reveals their stunning value. And a Louisiana home with a rags to riches story hidden in plain view. I notice they have a pig, a chicken, and a crawfish. Then, an Arizona home turns up ties to a world-famous movie star. Next on If Walls Could Talk. Hi, I'm Mike Siegel. When our first couple bought a classic Victorian, they got more than charm. Once they started fixing it up, they discovered it also came with a well-kept secret. When Bill and Wendy James were looking for the perfect place for their B&B, they looked no further than this 1897 Queen Anne Victorian in Mobile, Alabama. It's so classically Victorian, and it just fit my definition of a bed and breakfast. Luckily, everything else was a perfect fit, too. The fretwork is very unusual. The columns are very unusual. I mean, if we had to design one, I don't think we could have designed one any sweeter. And on the inside, the 5,000 square foot home was a real charmer. It had so many original features. It wasn't just one or two things. It was in every room every time you turned around. There was intricate woodwork, original antique light fixtures, stunning stained glass windows, and gorgeous fireplace mantles. It looked like the original owner had expensive taste, but who was it? The questions would wait while Wendy and Bill tackled some much needed cleanup, beginning in the attic. We opened up one of the boxes and started rummaging through it, and we realized, oh my, there's some really neat stuff in here. I think the first thing we noticed were some beautiful old letters. The letters were written in the 1800s, and there were a lot of them. They're everything from personal letters written to and from each other, from a brother to a sister, from a husband to a wife, mother to a daughter. They found the name McRae everywhere. Who were the McRae's? And there was another name, Shepherd. It was so overwhelming because all of these documents, we kept seeing all these different names. Next, Bill's Attic Adventures started turning up old books, and lots of them. There were a number of boxes that were full of school books. Inside one of the books, Bill noticed the inscription, Mrs. Shepherd's School. Shepherd was one of the names in those attic letters, but who was Mrs. Shepherd? And there was more in the attic. We started finding Civil War documents, Confederate documents. And they were really strange to us because these documents were coming from Europe. Never really thought about Europe being involved in the Civil War. The documents came with a name. Colin J. McRae. Who was Colin McRae? It was time for answers, so the couple did some research and learned their home was built by a wealthy railroad executive named Charles Martin Shepard. He built the house in 1897. He chose it out of a catalog, and the major components were shipped in from Tennessee. Out of a catalog? Who would have guessed that this was a kit house? We were surprised when we found out that it was just a catalog home, that it could have that much detail to it. Shepard and his wife Kate had five children, and two of their daughters had a passion for teaching. They grew up here in the house, and in 1910, they opened a school here in the house. They did everything from kindergarten to first grade on up. Aha! That explains all those school books. The couple also learned that Shepard's wife, Kate, had a very familiar maiden name, McCray. And she came from a very large family. It was all of their things. That's why there were so many names and so many different dates here in the attic. No wonder the McCray letters were mixed in with the Shepard letters. But what about all those Civil War documents? It turns out they were Civil War invoices. They were for war supplies medical supplies, guns, swords, shoes, clothing. And all those supplies had come over secretly from England. The Jameses were sitting on a historical gold mine. The documents proved for the first time that England helped the South in the Civil War. England was supposed to be neutral, and so they weren't supposed to be selling to the South. Now there's proof of who, what, where, and how, and who was doing business with the Confederacy, and how much they were paying for it and what it was and when it was coming over here. In all, they found more than a thousand documents in the attic. It's an incredible amount of information that was thought to have been lost. So who was Colin McRae? It turns out he was Kate Shepard's great uncle and the chief financial agent for the Confederacy. And he kept a paper trail of every penny he spent. At the end of the war, most of those documents were burned. 
McCray kept these documents and somehow they got back here into this house. Wendy and Bill are thrilled with what they've learned by exploring their home. We just never imagined it would hold this much history. But now that Bill and Wendy have found their place in the history books, they can't help wondering if their original furnishings could be valuable too. And they're about to find out. Hi, I'm Elodie. Hi, Elodie. How are you? Because we've invited appraiser Elodie Cardin over to investigate, beginning with those light fixtures. One globe has been replaced, but it looks like it's period anyway. Will those lights turn out to be an antique collector's dream? Will those stained glass windows command a dazzling value? Great Art Nouveau design. Will the ornate fireplace mantles be worth a fortune? It's in great condition. The Jameses will have to wait until Elodie is done investigating to find out. Just ahead, a Louisiana couple learns they bought a millionaire's mansion. Did your families think you were crazy? My family was like, what are you doing? Then, a forgotten photo ties this Arizona home to a legendary movie star. This picture shows him standing in the living room. Plus, will our Alabama homeowners get good news? Are their antique lights and windows worth a fortune? I place a value on those ads. Our appraiser tells them what they've got when we return.